the LMB is known uh, around the world as a uh, mecca for uh, CryEM. In particular, the LMB has contributed to CryEM by developing direct electron detectors. The facility is rather big. Altogether, we have uh, roughly 16 transmission electron microscopes. So we have uh, very small, uh, well, small uh, systems, mainly used for, uh, for screening and method development. And then we have a larger uh, state-of-the-art uh, system that are mainly used for, um, uh, for data collection. We look after the microscopes. We make sure that the microscopes are um, performing well and they are reliable for the users. Not only this, we also provide training so they can learn uh, electron microscopy and they can be independent from the EM facility. It's one of the most powerful technique um, to understand the structural, three-dimensional structure of biological molecules. And one of the reasons is that compared to others, it does allow you to examine your sample as close to the native state as possible. I think there's a, move, a slight move away from single particle to more, more tomography-based work. This is a focused ion beam milling machine um, with an SEM, scanning electron microscope. This machine will allow you to take a thicker sample, like a cell or a tissue, and, and mill that down to a very thin layer, which will allow the electrons to be transmitted through. People can begin to look at the the context from which the proteins come from, and they begin to see how proteins interact together and where they're located in the cell. The cell is like a little metropolis in itself. It's got a um, transport system, structures, uh, coding, and with this machine you can kind of begin to look at all of those things together. I tend to focus more on computational aspects of cryem. Right now I'm uh, doing image processing of a data collected from one of our experimental detectors. Uh, which is part of the bigger project aiming to build a better and more affordable low voltage transmission microscope. So I write scripts and programs to automate repetitive tasks that we tend to do in the facility. One of the programs I wrote we use on a weekly basis during our maintenance time when we have to make sure that the microscopes operate and can produce data according to manufacturer specifications. I participate the, the project in the lab for the 100 kb FAC cryo TM with a hybrid pixel electron detector, which is a low cost but very high quality of the microscope. Um, I use catalyst as our test sample. Uh, so the result from the 100 kb microscope is really comparable to the 300 kb result. So in the 300 kb result, we have to use 100 and 19,000 particles to achieve 2.2 angstrom resolution. But from the 100 kb microscope, we only use 27,000 particles to achieve 3.4 angstrom resolution. So the structure really can, you can just compare e each other um, here. This is the 11 protein structure from the data of the 100 kb uh, microscope. The protein size from very small GIPTH through DPS, catalase, uh, aprofaritin, etc., to the 70S ribosome large structure. We are very happy with the result. Uh, we believe with the improve of electron detector and add a little bit automation, we could achieve the high resolution comparable to the 300 kb microscope data. Since I've been at the LMB, I've, I've been involved in uh, quite few research uh, projects. So the one I enjoyed the most has been uh, the work I've been doing on an enzyme, uh, which is called PAS. Uh, it's an enzyme that is involved in uh, the phenylacetic uh, acid degradation pathway in E. coli. It's a very cool uh, enzyme because it has, uh, uh, has a double function and uh, has also a very interesting uh, uh, architecture. It's a trimer, it looks like flower with the three petals. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. One thing I particularly um, I feel very proud of, Kelly is working on telomeres, structural aspect of telomeres. And incidentally, I started working on telomeres during my PhD, which is 10 years ago. Then I started working with, his, with a PhD students and then we collected the data and single particle analysis and also tomography data and eventually um, yeah, uh, we found very exciting results and 
sort of a new discoveries. Around the time when the um, so-called globology era has ended and a new cryom high resolution has started. So it was a moment when I first saw the alpha helices in my own structure. That was very exciting. The LMB is great for ha um, having a lot of freedom in the direction you want to go with your work. Um, I also like the EM facility for being a kind of hub where you meet all sorts of experts in terms of hardware, software, um, biological sciences. People are building their own machines around us. Quite an exciting mix. I really like the job for when you sit on the microscope and collect data. When you have a, go to a lot of step of preparation specimen and then put a sample into a microscope, at that moment you look at a very good molecule and good distribution. This time I want to take collect a lot of data and set up. So I so I will I will predict yeah this will come up the good structure.